Hey everyone, Dr. Baron Grider here. I'm going to be reviewing the Blue Sky Plan Orthodontic Clear Aligner uh, workflow in this most current and uh, this updated software. Now I'm going to give you a heads up. I'm actually using a beta version. Uh, we're going to be launching a new version very soon, so I'm going ahead and getting this uh, set of videos together immediately. So uh, there will be a few updates. Um, that we're going to review in this, and yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So, first things first, um, when you open up Blue Sky Plan, this is going to be the first window that's going to come up. And as you see, we have different modules for surgical guides for Crown and Bridge. Model editing is where you're going to close models and add labels and uh, things like that. Uh, you can also go to orthodontics where we have the ability to clear liners and uh, indirect bonding trays for brackets, dentures, and then cephalometric analysis. Um, just a heads up, model editing and crown and bridge are free modules. Uh, the other ones have uh, a fee associated with them as you export the models, the STLs that you are creating with the software. Uh, that's where you are charged a an export fee. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. Um, yeah, a quick little tidbit about this, uh, the export fees as they relate to clear liners. Clear liners, um, it works as a case or project fee, meaning it does not matter if it takes five trays or 50 trays to move the teeth where you want them. It's going to be the same fee either way. It's only going to be half an export to do one arch or one full arch, uh, arch export if you're doing both arches, meaning if you're just going to treat the maxillary arch, you're going to be using half an export. If you want to do the maxillary and mandibular arches, then you're going to be dealing with a full export. Most cases that I do are going to be full exports. So, okay, um, to get started for an orthodontic case, I am going to click on the orthodontics button, and then I'm going to click on aligners import models. If you pick on CT scan, you're actually going to be able to bring a CT scan in as well to overlay the model on it. And so you can see where roots are and whatnot, see how much bone volume you have and whatnot. Most people aren't going to use that, but there are, you know, select cases where we really want to know how much bone volume we have to work it with. So this is your option if you want to do that. So for this example, I'm going to be using import models. It's going to bring up a file browser where we can find those models we want to work with. Now, this case might look familiar if you've watched my videos before. It's the same case I've used in the past. So right here, I can actually preview the models to make sure it's the case that I'm planning to work on. Here's the upper and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and just hold the control button to click on both of them. And I'm going to click on OK. Now it's going to come up. It's going to process this for a second. And then it's going to ask me, is uh, it's going to bring up one of the models that it thinks is the maxilla and it's going to ask me is this the maxilla or the mandible um, and this is important for us to tell otherwise it's going to flip it upside down so this is the upper model it's i'm going to call it the maxilla okay and now i can go ahead and get my case started and all i'm going to do is i'm going to name the patient we're going to call this jane doe and that's it. I'm going to move forward to the next phase where we're going to have the opportunity to turn these models around. Right now, they are, you know, they are, I can turn around and look at them, but as you see down here in the bottom left, there's this little head that looks at me, and if I point it right at me, I'm actually looking from the throat. It just tells me that these models are backwards. That's okay. That's all going to be just dependent on what intraoral scanner you're using. Um, yeah, these, these models themselves were created using the Omnicam uh, quite some time ago, honestly, a, a few years ago. I've used this uh, set of models for a number of videos. So anyway, don't worry. If it's upside, even if it's upside down, it does not matter. It can be turned on its side. And in the next phase, we're going to get to correct that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue to jaw alignment right down here. We're always going to be working from top to bottom.